First and ten, Sun Devils just short of their own 15. Sperling the center, Ford all the way at quarterback. Wendorf is the fullback. Cahoon the tailback. Johnson and Garrett wide. Fake to Cahoon. Across the 25-yard line to tight end Gary Knutson. And Illinois says, wait a minute. We lost, we had the ball. And the referee is saying, no, Knutson has the ball. And Knutson is still down with an injury. There you see Ford fake the give. Two of his linemen pulled the opposite way as part of the play. A great catch by Knutson. Swarmed under by four Illini tacklers. And Gary Knutson is still down on the field with his injury a look at the play again almost gets kind of twisted around as he makes the catch Ooh, oh you can boy, see he the knee hit. the left knee yes yes Oof. as he got spun around it was woof. those are those are scary when that knee doesn't get mike chamberlain your vantage point right now well you know it's yeah. gary knutson the tight end caught a pass and was hit injured here it is it's never pleasant to relive these experiences for sure but you can see graphically here watch the left knee just kind of buckle under under the pressure of that tackle the impact of that tackle gary knutson still down on the field there he grabs his ankle look like look as though it might have been the knee but perhaps uh, it is an ankle injury a left ankle injury to gary knutson obviously Hope, we'll hopefully give you the details br the bringing out. out of a of a of a stretcher always a little bit scary hopefully it is a precautionary measure so they do not want to put any weight, perhaps, on that leg. It is a shame to see the Sun Devils were counting on Gary Knutson very heavily this season. An excellent physical talent at over 240 pounds, 6 feet 4 inches at the tight end position. We have mentioned a number of times, Tim and I, that Daniel Ford has played very well tonight, that he appeared to be very comfortable in his situation. Statistically, listen to this. Daniel Ford has completed 14 of 17, 150 yards, and a touchdown pass that's 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 a pretty good uh, night's work and we still have 855 to play in the third quarter as attention is still being given to gary knutson asu football is brought to you by earnhardt's auto centers an arizona family tradition since 1951 mike chamberlain will be talking with the asu folks along the sidelines and so we hope to have word meanwhile larry marmee has been out to check on Gary Knudsen, the senior from Edmonds, Washington. Larry Marmy, very much a player's coach, and I think his concern for his players is evidenced on a situation like this. By his own admission, not flashy, doesn't seek the limelight, but believe us when we tell you, this man is one of the most popular coaches with his players that I have ever seen at any level of football. I think those shirts, Marmee's Army, I think every player on this team must own one at this particular point in time. It is, it is incredible the feeling that the players on this football team have for their head coach. Number 91, Gary Knudsen, last year gained almost 200 yards, too shy of 200 yards on 20 receptions and a touchdown. They're going to immobilize that left leg that's the reason they're taking so much time strapping it down so that movement from the way they have it strapped down ray it would appear to to be an ankle injury although we obviously can't number 91 gary Knudsen. hopefully the injury will not be of a serious nature but meanwhile we're ready to resume play the Sun Devils with a 14-point lead, thanks to Gary Knudsen's catch of a forward pass, of a first down. 